Hi Virgo, this is Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot and I'm going to be doing your weekly love reading. This is for the week of October 23rd to, through October 29th. This may or may not resonate for you as it is for hundreds and thousands of people. I have pre-shuffled these decks for you so if something falls out I'm going to lay it down unless it's like a big pile. This is for the sign of Virgo. Alright, I'm just going to make sure this is zoomed in. Alright, so the basis of your reading is the Knight of Wands. Uh, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. And right next to that we have the King of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. We also have Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, and Libra, Gemini, Aquarius as well. Um, it does look like... Something's coming in your direction, all right? Something is definitely coming in your direction. It looks very exciting, okay? I think there's some excitement this week, and you could, many of you could have a new sexual partner. There's definitely um, some very um, dominant fire energy here, okay? Look at it all, okay? So passion, so this is a week of passion something that you're very passionate about. I mean, it could be passion. I mean, passionate love, okay? I see that um, you could, if you're single, and you might meet somebody at a gathering or you might go to a gathering with somebody, okay? Where there's a bunch of people together, you might go out. but Or you, or you could go out with um, your friends or whatever. Um, I do feel like either way, there's a lot of passion going on this week, and I think there's a lot of um, intense, uh, feisty, playful, exciting energy, okay? I think, uh, and things are happening fast. There's some fast-moving energy here where you might even act impulsively, you know, you might act like on your desires. We do have the devil here, okay? Um, there's some obsessions, okay? So just, just beware. Try not to go overboard. Um, I'm just looking at the rest of the cards. You could receive communication from somebody this week, okay? If you haven't, maybe you've been expecting to hear from this fire sign or either one, the ones that I named off. You might be expecting to hear somebody from somebody and then all now you're going to, okay? Could be somebody from your past because it could be somebody that you know, all right? Um, I, there could be some challenges, however. I mean, this person could be watching you from afar and they've just been waiting for the right moment. Um, they, maybe they've been waiting for you to get single or they had to get single. Because this is a sign of somebody leaving something like a relationship, leaving a commitment. So maybe you've been waiting for them to contact you or um, you wanted to contact them, but you had to get to this spot first, okay? This is leaving, leaving something emotionally attached to, and that's a commitment. So I think either you or the other person, whoever's showing up in this reading, could be both of you, had to leave something first, okay? Because that's was what need to, needed to happen. Um, I see that um, there is romance headed in your direction. Romance, love, and lust. Okay, so it looks like it's it's a perfect um, a perfect amount of each, love and lust. Okay, so uh, you may need time to recuperate recuperate at the end of the week because it's going to be so exciting. Okay, um, yeah. 
looks really, really, really good. There's just a lot of passion this week. Um, I do see that you've probably, there's been a stalemate as far as this excitement goes, you know, because this is over here. I feel like there's been a period of time where um, you weren't feeling this excited, you know, where you were down and now, now that's over. I think that is completely over. I think you're moving in a completely different direction. I think you're following your dreams. Many of you are following your dreams um, and it looks really, really good. Um, I'm smiling, put it that way. Okay, I see uh, a lot of there's a new there's a lot there's a new excitement here, and I think it's a new partner for many of you, or I don't know. There's there's definitely some sexual energy here. Okay, um, you're probably gonna need to recuperate once the week is over. I think your self-confidence has risen quite a bit, quite a bit. And that's where all this fiery energy comes from. It's just, it comes from within. It comes from you. Your self-confidence has risen and your vibrancy is high. And I think there's a lot of sexual energy. And for many of you, a new sexual partner com could come charging right on into your life. And you might have been expecting this, or you, it could be you wanting to go into somebody else's life, and you've just been waiting for the right moment. Maybe somebody had to get single before it could happen. But this could be the week that it happens, okay? Where somebody takes action, it's, it's quite evident, and it happens, like, quick, all right? Okay, so I do see that, that maybe there's been a change in your home, all right? Maybe there's been a change in your home where um, somebody, your home life could have changed or could be changing in the future, could be changing this week. Somebody moves in, somebody moves out, something like that. I do see Cancer, oh, not Cancer, Cancer is here, Cancer's Pisces and Scorpio, but um, Taurus, Capricorn, or Virgo, and they could be either leaving or moving in. Um... And this, this energy is fluid, all right? Um, you could have a choice between several several suitors, by the way, because I think all of them are here. Either way, um, there's we do have some serious completions. We have a completion probably of a relationship, okay, which leads to something much better, a more happier relationship. And then we have a change in your home, a big one, okay, in your establishment, in your security, your finances, your stability. There's a change in that arena as well this week if not it may have already happened or it may be coming up real soon all right um i do see that for many of you this is the start of something brand new okay and i think i think it's very exciting all right something very new that is exciting that you don't have a lot of expertise in all right because when the world card comes out it means you've learned one major lesson or you've completed a major project of your life or a major time it could be uh you know a schooling you could have graduated you could have ended um anything big a job a relationship something long term when the world card comes out it says okay that one's over and now it's time to begin a new one celebrate it celebrate this next new phase of your life because this is right around the corner when the world card comes out it says <laughs> Great, you learned some lesson, lesson, you learned it. Now it's time to move on to something more exciting, okay? All right, now the Seven of Wands is kind of like... a competition of some sort, you know? It's like where you've... It's unnecessary. It's unnecessary, okay? The Seven of Wands tells me that, then it's right next to this Eight of Cups, so that tells me that you left something behind, or the other person did, that was unnecessary, okay? It's like you didn't, there was no reason to stay there anymore, okay? You just decided it was time to walk away, because you were ready to broaden your horizons, and I think that's the past. I think you there was there was nothing left. There was no reason to stay there. 
okay? This is unnecessary, like unnecessary fighting, unnecessary drama, unnecessary to stay within this commitment because it's it, whatever it was. So I think that many of you, you know, are have left something behind and now we see a an abundance of new growth, an abundance of new vibration, an abundance of excitement, okay? So, and I just think that it's time. I think that it is time. You decided it was time to broaden your horizons. I, I really think for many of you, you're dealing with a um, Aries, Leo, and Sagittarius. Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius, or Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. But I think that one is probably you. And I think somebody has probably been interested in you from afar, or you've been interested in them. And this might be the week that you come together. And it could happen quick, very quick. All right, so I'm going to get one more card. This is an Archangel Michael card, and this is for the sign of Virgo. For the week of October 23rd through the 29th. Make sure I don't got two cards. Yay, 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 yay. Eternal love. Eternal love. This is an Archangel Michael card. My prayer. Help me perceive all of the love that surrounds me so that I can feel safe receiving expressing and giving love this is let me read it again help me perceive all the love that surrounds me so that i can feel safe receiving expressing and giving love there's going to be so excitement there's so much excitement this week that you might get scared and you might be afraid <laughs> just just let it happen go with it just go with it. It looks like there's a lot of uh, excitement to be had. And it could lead to a new phase of your life that could be great. Secure and abundant. With a lot of love. And stability. And excitement. I mean, excite there's so much excitement here. So we do have all the signs. Um, so yeah, I think this is a week of excitement for you. Very exciting, very, very, um, oh God, I'm trying to contain my mouth here. Hot, okay? It's a hot week, and I, I, uh, left some words out of that one for you. Talk to you later.